Hello, Leo, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and Leo, today we're going to do a general love reading, baby. Let's talk about you and love. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Let's see what messages your guys want to pass along. If there's been no love, let's see if new love is coming through. But let's talk about you and love. Spirit guides, what's going on with the Leo Collective right now? Healing. Okay, so healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And we have the boat. Receiving what you need, progression, moving on. So there's some closure issues. So there's been some closure moving forward. You've been healing. Let's see what's going on here. And Leo, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one, the link is in the description box below. Whoa, a oh, whack of card just flew out. So we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. Oh, there's your message. The Page of Pentacles. We have strength. There you are. We have the Ten of Cups. Emotional equanimity. Someone's coming rushing towards you here, Leo. I think you'll, let's find out. You don't see it coming. Well, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Eight of Cups. That's some Three of Wands. So, so, so. Things are changing. Things are changing. Let's talk about it because the Moon's here. You don't see this coming. Um, there could be a misunderstanding because in this deck, uh, apparently the Moon means misinterpretation. They do have some different meanings in this deck, but cards don't just mean one thing. We'll clarify and find out. I always, I initially took that as something that you don't see coming. You got someone rushing in here. I feel like you've been healing, focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself, you know, letting go of the past, making sure that you've completely healed from whatever it is that you've, that you've worked on. So let's see if this is a past person coming through, if there's someone new. Who's this Knight of Swords? Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have water, we have earth. We also have the Queen of Swords here. We also have Pisces energy here. Ten of Cups. Whoa, this is a self, whoa. Okay, we're definitely talking about a single collective. We'd already established that, but it's just been reconfirmed for us here, Leo. Ten of Swords tells me you had a very painful ending. And this Knight of, Swords, Knight of Swords is coming in to change things. I don't think it's someone from the past. I think it's somebody new. Um, somebody that's going to make you very happy. The Ten of Cups is in both of your energy. So that means you both see a serious potential with each other. That's why it's the Knight of Swords. He's rushing in. He's not, you know, taking his time. He's not picking his nose. He is rushing in, going after you. He's in hot pursuit. He sees the Leo. He wants the Leo. He goes after the Leo. I say he because it's a knight. Could be a feminine. Um, it don't matter. But there's a lot of peace. There's a lot of happiness. They see you as wife, husband, family potential. They see you as very empathetic, very compassionate, very caring. I'm perceiving you actually as the queen of cups here. I'm not sure why, but I am. You could have water in your chart. Um, but it's because the knight of swords is going after this queen with an offer, a respectful offer, an offer that you like, the offer that you agree with. What do you want to say about this page of pentacles here? Because the three of wands is getting what you want. I feel like you waited for the right person, right? You didn't just jump into relationships with people that you'd be settling with. You were waiting. Whoa, we have the queen of wands. We have the four of swords. Whoa, we have the page of pentacles. This is clarifying the page of pentacles. So there's a very serious attraction. There's also two feminine energies here. I also feel like you're holding back a little bit. Hmm. Whoa, what is going on? We have four queens, two queens of swords, three queens and this represent, three queens typically represents an argument or conflict of some sort. You're biting your tongue here, Leo. What's going on? Um, yeah, three scenes, three queens and then you biting your tongue. Maybe you got more than one person coming after you. Um, you got a lot of options in your energy. I'm going to ask for clarification on the three queens because this page of pentacles, if we look at this one, there's two. So we got one, two, three different offers here. I think you got multiple options. Um, tell me about the three queens. What does uh, Leo need to know about these three queens? Is this an argument? Is this just fighting for Leo's attention? Knight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. You got <laughs> one, two. And there's the King of Pentacles. When two knights go, when there's two knights in a reading, they're going head to head. There's a little bit of a disagreement or a battle here. You got people fighting for your attention, Leo. They know that there's other options. Yeah. They know that you got options. They know this Knight of Swords is when I say they, this Knight of Swords, who I kind of feel like it's the King of Pentacles. It could be different, but I kind of feel like they're the same person. I'm getting the same energy, the same vibe. They want to be a provider. They know you have other options. They want to scoop you up and take you before the other options take you <laughs> from them. You know what I mean? Um, and then I feel like you're trying to take things slow, trying to figure out who these options are, who's best for you, what's best for you. Because, you know, in this sword, again, look, the Queen of Swords is independent. Um, she's vibrant. But she takes care of business on her own. She doesn't need anybody. But damn, you got a lot of people trying to get your motherfucking attention. And this is about who makes you happy. Two of Swords says you're at a crossroads. 
So first of all, I don't even think you're expecting these options. Second of all, I don't think you're expecting this Knight of Swords because this person is the one standing out, this King of Pentacles, this Knight of Swords energy. Uh, what do you want to say about the moon here? Because you got people fighting for you. You got to walk away from your options. <laughs> and there's the cool. The high priestess is clarifying the moon. Could be a Pisces. Um, trust your intuition here. You got to make a decision. There's the eight of swords walking away from the two of swords. So you can't have all these people, you know, fighting for your attention forever. You got to choose and decide which is the best option for you. If maybe none is, maybe you don't think any of them are potential awful, awful. Oh, maybe, maybe, ooh, Leo, maybe you think some of them are awful options, but the fact is, um, one is standing out for me as a reader and that's this knight of swords slash king of pentacles and perceiving as the same energy, but you got a lot of options. You got a decision to make. Trust your intuition. You got the high priestess and the moon, which tells us that you're very strong intuitively. It's also right underneath and clarifying your strength here, which is you. So yeah, let's grab a few oracles. Let's see what they want to say. Let's see if you decide in a month. Let's see if you stay single. Let's see if you um, pick one of these people. Let's see how this progresses. Let's find out, shall we? But first of all, let's get some oracle messages. Spirit guys, what does Leo need to surrender to? Your need to always be right. Don't shoot the messenger, man. Don't shoot the messenger. So give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. I was going to get the Karen connection, but I can't because there's multiple people here. So let's just grab your spirit animal. <laughs> What's the spirit animal here? Great. Look at you. You're the damn swan. Appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. And I'm just seeing this swan with like all the, all the swans around her, looking at her, admiring her beauty. Um, I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't admire this swan, man? This swan's gorgeous. So let's talk about it. Let's get your potential outcome, Leo. So when I say potential, there's always free will. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? Do you have many admirers here? Liking what they see, liking what they see. Let's see if you choose one. Let's see if you reject them all. Let's see if it's new to people. Let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how things are going, how things are progressing. Whoa, we got the Knight of Cups. We got the Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords. Excuse me, excuse me. What's this? Oh, there's your passionate new beginning. I do believe you've made a choice here after some fretting. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you know who you want to work on this with. There's a Four of Cups. Yep. There's a Five. Oh, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look the one that you reject is upset they're staring at you i lost leo leo chose someone else why did they choose someone else other than me but here you are shaking your maracas dancing down the street you've made a decision you were fretting you were frowning you were brooding you had a dif difficult choice i feel like maybe some of the options were awful because that popped out of my mouth but i also feel like they were also pretty good um but with this ace of wands and this nine of cups you found someone that you feel has long-term potential you're moving forward with this particular person you're working on it um, you're investing in this person. You've decided the one that you want to cho choose. And there's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a very strong connection with this person. You withdrew from the other people, which has created a little bit of uh, jealousy, a little bit of um, envy. You know, like I said, I just laughed when I saw this because I just see you really happy with the choice that you made. And there's the two people that you kind of rejected and let go. Um, they're missing the Leo. They're missing their Leo. They don't understand. But the fact is, it's not personal. It's not personal if you're the cross watcher that the Leo rejected. You know, they're going to feel, pick the one they had the connection with. So you don't have a connection with anyone. You could be at dinner with a really attractive person, but you just don't feel the connection. So you did feel the connection. I think it's this Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, but um, the person's not specifically chosen. So it's going to be different for each of you. But this is working on a relationship and a partnership with someone. You manifested this. You wanted this. You're really enjoying this person. And you let those people go and they're not so happy. But unfortunately, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Not much you can do. <laughs> That's not much you can do, Leo. That's what I have. So, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. So thank you for the support, Leo. I really do appreciate that. And today we're going to close your reading off with a yes or no question. So yes, is if the answer is yes, the card is upright. If the answer to your question is no, the card comes in reverse. What's the answer? Yes or a no? The answer is yes. And that's what I got for you, Leo. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.